I've been really wanting to do a holiday makeup look and I thought this was pretty universal. It's just your classic red lip cat eye makeup look but I don't think I've ever done a makeup look like this. So I'm using some new products today. I'm pretty proud of how this turned out. I think that a lot of you guys will like it. If you do, give it a thumbs up. Let me know. If you have any ideas of what you want to see me do next, put that in the comment section below and I will probably do them. Maybe not. <laughs> I'm always open to ideas, so let me know. So without further ado, let's get into this video. I hope you guys enjoy. Alright, so after I have moisturized, I always go in with a primer. And today I'm going to be using the Benefit Professional. It's my favorite primer. This just gives you a really smooth base for your foundation. And it also helps your foundation just stay on longer in general. So that is why I use it. Now since this is kind of a special occasion, I'm going to be using a full coverage foundation. And this is the Amazonian Clay one from Tarte. And I'm going to be putting this on with my Tarte Foundation Airbrush Brush. So now I'm going to go in with my concealer. I'm going to be using the Maybelline Fit Me, and this is in the color Fair Claire. And then to blend that in, I'm going to be using my Real Techniques, let's see, setting brush. With my concealer, I like to just do some stripes under my eyes, and then also around my nose. and then I just cover up any blemishes. And now, since this is a party look, I'm going to be using my Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector and I'm just going to be putting this over the top of my foundation. Just kind of make my foundation look glowy and dewy. And this really makes your highlighter pop, so that's why I do this. And now to set my concealer, I'm just going to be using my e.l.f. <coughs> what I was saying was that I'm going to use my e.l.f. translucent powder and I'm just going to take a wet beauty blender and just dumping a little bit of the powder into the lid. I'm just going to be setting my under eye and baking under there. And I'm going to be doing this because I think it really helps set my concealer helps it not move throughout the day and it also helps my mascara or whatever eye makeup I have on not smear underneath my eyes. So that is a huge help not having to worry about that throughout the day. So while this bakes, 
I'm gonna be doing my eyebrows and I'm gonna be using the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in dark brown and also I'll be using the clear brow gel from Anastasia Beverly Hills just to set my brows and make sure they're not gonna go astray throughout the holiday season. Be right back. So I'm gonna sweep away my baking powder. Baking powder? Sure, Lauren. So now moving on to contouring and bronzing. I love to use my Hoola Bronzer from Benefit. This is my favorite bronzer just because I think it looks really natural. I like that it's matte. I like that it's easy to blend out and it's also really easy to build up if you're trying to go for a more dramatic look. But usually I like to keep it more on the natural side. That's just me. You do you, girl. So I don't usually like to go too crazy on the blush, but I've been feeling it lately. I really like the way it looks, but I only like it if it looks natural and is very well blended. So today I thought this would look good with the glowy look we're going for. I'm going for it. Uh, this is the Milani Baked Blush and this is in Rose Dioro. Just going to pack a little bit of this on. As for my highlight, I've really been loving the Mary Luminizer highlight from The Balm. I think it's extremely pigmented. I think it's a great color. It is everything you would want in a highlighter. So I'm just going to be applying that with my Luxie 522 brush. And I'd just like to say, follow your heart when it comes to highlighter application. So real quick, I'm going to add some eyeshadow primer. I'll be using the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. And now going in with a smaller tapered brush, I'm just going to be going in with my highlighter once again, putting that in my inner corners as well as my cupid's bow and the tip of my nose. And the tip of my nose. So for my eyeshadow today, I'm going to be using the Modern Renaissance Palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I love this palette. It's amazing. I'm sure everyone already knows about it. I'm late in the game. This is my first video I made with it because it is my newest product that I think I've bought recently. Um, couldn't be more happy with my purchase, so. So first I'm going to be setting my... Oh, <laughs> let me zoom in real quick. I forgot that I did this. It's been so long. Okay, so going in with the color Tempera right there. I have to use my pinky coordination skills to point that out to you. I am going to just coat my whole lid and my brow bone with this. And this is just going to set my primer. It's going to come in handy whenever I want to go and blend all my other shadows later on so it doesn't just stick in one spot and not budge. Next, I'm gonna go in with the color Warm Taupe, and I'm just gonna put this all over my brow bone. This is gonna be a great transition shade. Now going in with that same color and a little bit of a smaller brush, I'm going to be putting this under my eye. 
Okay, we're shifting gears here. So now I'm going to be going in with my ColourPop. Here it is. This is a ColourPop Party Girls Super Shock Shadow, and it's a matte shadow. And this is just a beautiful rosy shade. I'm pretty sure this is not being sold anymore, but I have a very strong feeling that they probably have more like it that are currently for sale. So I'm just going to be packing this on here to add kind of a tacky base to put on some shimmery eyeshadow later. This is going to help the shimmery eyeshadow stand out more and have more pigment and it's also going to help it stay on strong throughout the day. So after I do that I'm just going to kind of blend out the crease a little bit. <laughs> okay so once I have that done I'm going to go in with my Renaissance palette again and I'm going to go in with the shimmery shade called Vermeer. So using that same flat brush that I used to put on that base shadow, I'm just going to be putting the shimmery shadow over top, and it'll look amazing. Yes, that pigment! So I'm just going to kind of be blending this into my inner corner, dragging it all over the lid. I am here for all of this. Now I'm just going to blend out the edges. Call me crazy, but I think I'm going to add a little bit more of the uh, warm taupe color just to deepen the crease just a little bit. I'm going to put on lashes for this look, so I'm just going to add a little bit of a, a thin line for my eyeliner just to kind of conceal the lash band. This is not a thin line. Actually, I'm going to do a wing. <laughs> Alright, so now that I have my liner on, I'm just going to add some lashes. And today I'll be using the Kiss Vamp Lashes. I've worn these so many times they look disgusting, but um, that just shows how much I love and appreciate them. Highly suggest. 10 out of 10 would recommend. Also, I'm going to add some liquid eyeliner over the top of the eyelash band just to kind of conceal it a little bit. And I'm going to also add some mascara. So, see you then. Alright, so this is a pretty universal look. It's a basic cat eye. We got some neutral eyeshadow, um, some beautiful lashes. It's a glam version of natural is what I like to call it. So you can pair any lipstick that you want with it and it would look amazing. But since it's the holiday season, what other color would work better than red? So today I'm going to be using the Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in Outlaw. So I'm going to use this to outline my lips first and then I'm going to go back in and just make sure the color is perfect with the liquid lipstick wand. So last thing before I forget is to add setting spray. So today I'm going to be using the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. And since this is a holiday party look, got to make sure your makeup stays on all day and all night. So here you go. So this is the finished look. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope it helped you out in some way or another. I hope you guys have a Merry Christmas and I will see you in my next video. Bye!